good morning everyone good morning, sir. today we shall learn an interesting popular folk tale which was written by anonymous person because we don't know the person who has written this folk tale but the story was translated into english by margaret shek the story is very humorous which can be enjoyable for children and adults too the name of the story is the brave potter the story of a potter the story begins like this that was evening time even though that was evening it became very dark because of the dark clouds it's going to be rain so in the forest a tiger is going to his shelter going to his cave but the cave is very far away from the place where he stayed now so she thought that it is very impossible for him to reach the cave instead of going to cave he want to stay for some time until the rain stops so he saw a small hut in the middle of the forest so the tiger took shelter beneath the hut he waited there because the tiger was so tired uh, nothing no sounds except rain sound pit pat sounds were heard by the tiger from inside of the hut a old lady voice came to his notice the old lady saying that the leak is terrible than a tiger in a forest the tiger heard this voice how could a, a leak could be terrible than me i am not the king of the forest the tiger thought he wants to know what is a leak which is dangerous more dangerous than a tiger while having such thoughts in her mind she slept because it was so tired she slept after few minutes the tiger was kicked by somebody the creature kicking harder nothing like anything is kicking his head is kicking his shoulder the tiger frightened the tiger frightened who is this dangerous creature unhumanly kicking me i thought i am the strongest one in the forest but some else is came to me and kicking me like a small creature small creature, treating me like a dog is kicking me the tiger frightened the tiger had a plan in his mind that why not we obey the stronger uh, creatures words if we obey it won't kill us it won't kill me so it it ready to obey the words of the creature actually the old woman said leak means water is coming into her head uh, hut leaking water is leaking from on the top of the hut the woman said leak is much more dangerous than the tiger in the forest but the tiger thought that leak is another creature who is stronger than the tiger so it obeyed the person's words the person kicked and shouted you bloody creature why you are staying here he tied a rope to his neck and he climbed on to the tiger the creature mean the man climbed on to the tiger and showed the way to the house he is staying nearby the uh, forest 
he showed the house the tiger was captured and the tiger was climbed by the potter and he came to his house and tied to a tree with a rain, uh, chain to the chain here he tied the tiger here with the chains she obeyed actually what happened is that afternoon he came to his house after his work in the fields he was so tired the potter was so tired is a habit of drinking he is ha is having habit of drinking so he, he asked his wife for some wine i was i am so tired i want rest i want to sleep i need uh, some palm wine wine to drink so he had some liquor had some liquor how uh, how much he takes the wine that much he felt relaxed so he drank a lot it it starts to drizzle it starts to rain suddenly he remembered the donkey which was tied to the tree he he wants to tie the donkey in the stable he want to put them in the stable to protect him from the rain but there is no donkey there he then he was so angry that he want to um, kick that uh, donkey the bloody donkey where this bloody donkey went uh, he thought he went into the the donkey went into the forest so he started going into the forest while he going to the forest because it was ra raining heavily some fallen branches are there the soil is very muddy very slippery so while he was walking he was kicked by uh, he was fallen because of the fallen branches some stones and all these things were made much more anger about the donkey if i find the donkey i will kill the donkey today he that much angry he felt inside he saw the donkey underneath a hut actually the uh, the animal which was under the hut is not a donkey it was a tiger he kicked his donkey he thought he kicked his donkey but actually he kicked the tiger he brought that tiger to his house and tied to his tree he slept at night when all the people in the village came in the morning and saw the tiger tied to a tree with chains like a dog like a donkey all were surprised that same dangerous tiger killed so many cattle of that villages they tried to catch but uh, that was impossible for all the villagers a single man could able to catch a tiger and tie it to a tree all were amazed and surprised how this brave potter could able to tie a tiger to the tree all praised potter you are very great you are brave you are strong but he doesn't understand why these people are calling me i'm a strong man i'm a great man i never caught any tiger i only brought my donkey from the forest and tied to the tree what is that he came out what is there any tiger in in front of my house when he saw the tiger he he was fainted no all the villagers praised the potter for his bravery and the person the potter was not claiming that i never bought a tiger and tied to the tree all were surprised and saying that he was very modest he was very simple very humble never accept his greatness all the villagers thought like that the story happened and finished like that few years later 
the kingdom where he lives the kingdom was called for a war by against uh, this country by a stronger army the neighboring army was very strong the neighboring army was very strong he declared war the enemy enemies the enemy's king declared war against this kingdom he gathered every soldier in his kingdom and uh, asked the minister can we fight against them they said no so he had no other go he asked for the advices of the minister one minister said there is a person who can lead our army who is that person he is a brave potter he he is a brave, brave potter he could able to catch a tiger and tie to a tree like a donkey then the king agreed to put him as the army general he was declared as the army general and he was summoned he was called to the camp to the castle he uh, the potter came to the castle and the king said you are the army general of our army he was frightened i never know about anything about army i never carried a sword i never ride a horse how could i be a army general so he was frightened no because uh, king uh, never accept uh, no he obeyed his order and he has a solution for that why don't we why don't i get up early in the morning and uh, learn how to ride a horse and uh, both the wife and the potter woke up early in the morning and see that brown large sized horse a war horse it's a war horse um there was a uh, seat leather seat saddle on the horse but which was slippery he cannot climb onto the horse his wife put a chair a small stool but it is also very difficult for him to climb that tall horse the saddle was slippery stirrups were also not used to him because he never rode a horse somehow he he climbed that horse and he had an uh, excellent idea the idea is you come with a rope you tie the stirrups around the stomach of the horse so that i cannot fall off the horse he did, the wife did the same thing he tied the stirrups both sides both feet were tied up with the horse and he tied reins long ropes to his head also but while doing this this is a warfare horse he used to go to wars he paving his hops is paving he want to gallop gallop from the place he want to gallop into the war zone now uh, we impatiently is waiting for the master to say come on but is never saying come on the uh, horse started going into the war zone while going into the war zone he is moving like a rice snack a sack of rice a rice bag is moving on the horse like a rice bag and he want to st stop himself he wanted to stop the horse he wanted to stop the horse but the horse never stopped he, in doing so to stop the horse he grabbed a young tree he grabbed a young tree because it was young and a weak tree but looks like a big tree if you see a drumstick tree even though it looks big it won't be any strong so that kind of tree looks big but weak 
you go and try to hold the tray. You are you try to stop himself. You hold the tray with the roots. The tree came out. The horse is galloping towards the war zone. Somebody, a sentry, saw this person who is riding a horse and holding a big tree in his hand. He was frightened. He must be the brave Potter. He thought he must be the brave Potter who wants to kill everybody in the enemy camp. He the sentry ran to the camp and saying, "The brave Potter who killed the tiger came, coming towards us to kill us." So all were all the soldiers run away. The king frighteningly wrote a letter. Please forgive us. I will never uh, declare war against you. Please forgive us for this time. And so such kind of letter he wrote and put, and ran to his camp, uh, to his castle, to his kingdom. And when he reached the camp, the horse stopped there. Hardly tried and. Uh, released himself from the horse and uh, went into the camp there was no enemy no person in the camp but a letter was there he took that letter and walked to his kingdom and he was so tired that he told to his wife give this letter to the king i am feeling sleepy so i want to sleep uh, please give this letter to the king the wife went to the king and uh, said your majesty uh, in the army camp there were uh, if my husband found this letter and uh, the king took that letter and read it where is your uh, husband the potter he said the potter is uh, uh, tired and he felt sle sle sleepy and is sleeping now Okay, let him sleep for today. You ask your uh, husband to come tomorrow. He read the letter. In the letter, all the enemies were pleading for their lives. So, uh, the king was very happy and he was the uh, army general for his rest of his life. He gave rewards the next day. Thank you.